Hi there everybody, uh, in the next set of videos I'm just going to cover how to create a light map for Unreal 4 um, and show you how you create that in Maya and then export it in and use it actually inside the engine. So let's get started. So light maps are quite important in Unreal uh, Engine. Um, we rely on them for clean lighting and shadow detail and each bit of the object has to be uniquely unwrapped so every part of the model has its own representative space to receive light and dark information. Now. Um, there's a few ways of doing this, um, and what I'm going to show you is the light map resolution um, and how they work in powers of two. So, uh, like uh, 2, 4, 8, 16, uh, 32, 64. Um, because this is really important, we need to make sure we set the grid up this way as well. I'm also then going to show you how you can play around with the light map resolution settings inside of Unreal and get the best uh, looking um, light bake from from the um, actual uh, light map channel. So let's get started on this. So I've got my object here, which is a um, just a uh, set of drawers. Um, I've probably used it in examples before. And the UVs are actually set up for it already. Just, just go to UV editor. Um, this is not the texture for it. Um, this is my uh, test wood texture to make sure all the wood grain's going in the right direction. So I just downloaded a texture file off the internet with wood grain. I can see exactly the direction that the UVs are going in. So this helps me when I'm like texturing in Photoshop as well. So just make sure it's all nice and uh, um, unique and what we're going to do is we're going to set up this grid first so to do that we have to do a small calculation so if we just grab the calculator now I know this number off by heart and that's quite sad um, and let's do, 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 do so the calculation we want to do is is 1 divided by 1 2 8. Now that gives us this number. Now we can do other ones, so if we wanted a light map resolution of 64 we can go 1 divided by 64 and that will give us that calculation. Uh, same again, 1 divided by 1, 2, 8 or 1 divided by 2, 5, 6 and these are the resolutions that you use. Now I tend to use a resolution of uh, 256 for floors, but props I keep um, at about uh, 128. So like I was saying, I tend to keep my props at 128, so that's the number we're going to use. So 1 divided by 128 equals 0 0.0078125. So we're going to need to actually, I'm going to just move this off screen a minute and shut down my <laughs> mayor while doing that. Um, so what we're going to do is go to view, grid, and then we're going to change grid lines every and type this number in. Five. Now don't press enter, don't press anything yet, because if we press enter what will happen is we'll get rid of these numbers and we'll be slightly out on our light map. So seven, uh, 78, so 0 0.0078125 and click apply. And you can close this down. Now you can see now that this has got, this has made um, uh, the grid change in its size. Now what we want is each UV island, so this is a UV island, needs to be two of these squares away from another UV island. And you can see here we've got quite a few flipped ones as well, so they can't be flipped. They have to be two of these pixels away from each other, and they have to all occupy their own UV island. Now if we try and do this without creating a new UV channel um, you're going to start to pull your hair out because we kind of screwed up our nicely laid out UVs. So what we're going to do is, is if you go to polygons with the object selected, so right mouse button object select polygons and then go to copy to new UV sheet and click the square button here. Now this gives us this menu and I'm going to call it a light map. It doesn't have to be called light map. Unreal doesn't recognize that as the naming convention, 
all it recognizes is that there's two UV channels, but I call it line map so I know what I'm working on. So click apply and close. Now that's created two new UV sets. So under UV set, that's created, this is my first one, which is my texture. And this is my light map one. So anything I do on this now, so for example, if I pull that off and go to UV sets and go back, it hasn't made any changes to the original texture layer. So go back, just control Z it a minute. So what I'm gonna do now is now, there is a tool that I use which pretty much does this straight off, which is really good, which is... So once you've got the UV selected, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to polygons and select layout. Um, now there's two types, there's Unfold 3D, which is a new version of it, which I haven't quite figured out how to get it working properly, and Legacy, um, which uh, is the one that we're gonna use. So make sure Legacy's ticked. If you come down to here to shell spacing as well, make sure 128 map is ticked. Um, the reason for this is because we've set out the grid to be 128, um, to support the 128, one divided by 128, and we want a 128 resolution in Unreal, we need to make sure we set that spacing correctly there. So if we click apply, you can see now that all of these have now been laid out. So every one is at least two pixels uh, two of these squares away from each other um, and nothing's overlapping now at the moment it looks a bit weird because it looks red but if we click this button here you see that everything's flipped the right direction and that we have enough pixel space in between each of these to um, actually get a decent uh, light bake so that's it on the Maya side um, we just need to re-export the object so file I'm just going to quickly do this. So I'm just going to create some new buttons. So I'm holding Control Shift on the, um, and then selecting the tool that I want to create. And it's creating me some new tools up here. And I go File, Export, where's Export Selection? So History, Freeze, and yep. So always remember to freeze the transformations and delete the history in the export. And I'm just going to navigate to where I've saved this. So, oh, that's why you have to check, make sure it's set to FBX. Just overwrite that. Just double check. Yep, that was all ticked. <laughs> okay, so uh, in the next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to, um, what this, how this is affected inside of Unreal Four. Thanks.